Changing ocean, changing deep blue sea. Come back, baby, find some change in everybody. They ought to change sometime. Because it's sooner or later, I'll have to go and land on lonesome ground. Change my paints, I change my shirt. Change people to get shed of the day. Everybody, they ought to change sometime. Because it's sooner or later, all after going that along some ground. Greetings, my name is Corey Harris, coming from Louisa County in Central Virginia. And I play roots music, guitar, blues and uh, related art forms. I represent the uh, tree and all the branches and the roots as well. And uh, I'm uh, doing a lot as far as, um, we'll have done a lot as far as playing music with uh, Ali Farka Toure and um, tour with a lot with B.B. King and Arl Burnside and a whole bunch of people. Um, in the, you know, coming up through playing music. Uh, Big Jack Johnson also was somebody. John Jackson also. Um, new Honey Boy Edwards, of course. And, you know, so it's really uh, gratifying to be on this mission, you know, and playing this music. And I, I feel that I also have some compatriots like Alvin Young Bloodheart is uh, someone, uh, Guy Davis as well, uh, Eric Bibb also. You know, in our own way, we're representing this uh, acoustic blues, you know, coming from that root in this, in this time. So, it's a good time. Early this morning, blue knocking on my door. Well, my definition of blues music, the style of blues music, um, you know, would be repetition, and a lot of it has to do with uh, the rhyming uh, meter, uh, you know, the AAB format, or, or, you know, and then other, you know, different little characteristics that over time are characteristic of the flavor of what is called now the blues, you know. Um, so, and I really feel like nowadays we have uh, really moved into some very dangerous homogenization of blues. Um, huh? Well, I feel so dangerous because um, it uh, is, imperils the tradition because it, some people don't really reach and, and really know about what the root is. So I wouldn't say dangerous in terms of actually physical harm. <laughs> but no, it definitely is something that... Um, affects people's uh, knowledge of, of what is real and the real roots of things and the real history, you know. Yeah. Well, that's all right, baby. That's all right for you. That's all right, woman. That's all right for you. That's all right, little girl. In the old way you do. Um, if you're talking about New Orleans, the root of New Orleans is African. That's the foundation. You know, there was influences of other things, of course. But um, New Orleans... Uh, yeah. Uh, as far as the, the what should I say, the, the cultural complex of it, you know, is definitely hooked up with Guadeloupe, Martinique, Haiti, Cuba, you know, as much as it is really actually even more than it is with, say, Natchez, Mississippi, which is not even that far away. But culturally, New Orleans is a, is a northern Caribbean city. You know, if you've ever been there, you know what I'm saying. Walk to Wichita Falls I walk from Dallas, walk to Wichita Falls. From Dallas to Wichita Falls. 
Well, I lost my baby, wasn't no walk at all. Um, I was into all types of music, but then I was also influenced by what I was exposed to at home and going to church and, you know, just like any child was. But I was very open. I still am very open to a lot of different types of music um, and, and appreciate them, you know. It's important to have big ears and to just uh, like music. I like good music. If it's not good music, I don't like it. <laughs> so, you know. See me coming, turn your lamp down low. Well, I ain't no stranger done been here before. I always felt like I had something to say and express something, and I was always feeling things. So. Um, even from very little, I can remember being like three years old and like making up songs in my head yeah. and thinking to myself what the bass line would be and what the drum line, you know. So, yeah, I was always uh, musically inclined in some way. Mm -hmm. But there was never no period. I guess, you know, when I was uh, started doing talent shows in, in high school, that was fun. You know, and then played on the street, you know, for spare change and then really started playing on the street heavily for many years around, you know, in New Orleans mainly, but also in other other cities and other countries. And, um, you know, but it, so it was a gradual thing, you know. What you gonna do, your do roller gone. Gonna do. Yo, do roller gone. You better make some biscuits until she come home.